we're going to take a look at the mastery level feature here. So we'll take a look at this addition and subtraction topic. You can see my son Marcus has already done a bit of work here. Now we've got the first column here which shows the grade for each lesson. This tick here means that he passed that particular lesson. And then over here we've got this column showing the mastery level. Now this gives us an even better measure of just how well a student really understands a work in a lesson. And even more than that, it actually encourages and rewards a student for trying more questions at a higher difficulty level. So let's take a look at just how this mastery level actually works. And we'll look at this new lesson here. So Marcus has already watched the video. Now he's ready to start some questions. We can see the mastery bar at the top here. Now it's all grayed out at the moment, but this shows the highest difficulty level that a student has worked at in a lesson. And a four star rating means that they've answered the most difficult questions in the lesson. Now we're moving through a few of the questions here quite quickly. And we can see that as Marcus gets each question correct, it's indicated on this mastery level bar. We can see now he's achieved his first star or an elementary level of mastery for the lesson. Now what about if he gets a question wrong? Well, if we have a look here, you can see that the results, they move backwards on the bar, but the student still keeps that one star level of mastery. Once they've achieved that level, they won't lose it. Now you might also be noticing that as he gets questions correct, they're gradually getting more difficult. Well, that's because the program's designed so that if a student answers questions correctly, it gradually moves them up through the difficulty levels. And if they get questions wrong, then it takes them back to an easier difficulty level. Now, as we skip to the last question in the level, he gets this one right. And you can see here he's achieved a grade of 88% and a two star or a basic level of mastery. And it encourages him to go back and keep on trying the lesson so he can improve his grade and get that higher mastery level. Now back here we can see that that's all been upgraded. Grade for the lesson, mastery level over here. And now let's take a look at this lesson that's already been attempted. Now we can see on the mastery bar, his results from the previous attempt have already been indicated here. Now as we work once again through a few questions quickly, you can see that as he gets each question right, the results are indicated on the mastery bar again. So he's now achieved a three star or a sound level of mastery. And if we jump ahead a few questions, when he gets this question correct here, Marcus has achieved a four star or excellent level of mastery. And we can see there's fireworks going off everywhere here to celebrate this. Now, even though he's achieved that top level of mastery, he still needs to finish the remaining questions just so he can get his final grade for the lesson. So let's skip ahead to the last question in the lesson. He gets it right, and we can see that he's got a grade of 100%. And this time there's not only fireworks, but streamers as well, guaranteed to make a student feel good. Now, once again, we can see that these results have all been updated. So his grade here, 97%. He's got that four star mastery level there. And as I said before, he can't lose that mastery level now. Now let's have a look and see how these results are displayed in a report. Now we can see the results for each of the lessons that Marcus has been working through here. So we've got the grade for each lesson, his mark on his first attempt, the highest mark, how many attempts he had at each lesson and the number of attempts it took him to pass each lesson. And then lastly we've got his mastery level over here. Now you may notice if we look at this lesson his grade is 100%, but his mastery level is only at a three star level. Well that's because he's only attempted the questions for this lesson once. And to achieve that highest level of mastery, a student needs to attempt a lesson a few times just to really show they can consistently work at that highest difficulty level. Now what all of this does for the student is it motivates them to go back in and attempt a wider range of questions to see if they can take on those most challenging questions in a lesson and achieve that four star mastery. Now that obviously increases their confidence level and it also increases their enjoyment of mathematics. And for us parents and teachers, well, it gives us an even better measure as to how well our students are understanding their work. And it also helps us identify any gaps in their knowledge or areas where further work is needed.